All right. I love this guy. The following contest is an elimination match. Making his way to the ring from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 295 pounds, Rock Lassiter. This competitor is just way, way too aggressive. They need to do some breathing exercises or something. Unlock the inner peace. I'm a little surprised to hear that from you, Corey. You endorse anyone who brings a little animosity to the ring. Well, maybe sometimes I do, but this is too much. They should dial it back. Do some yoga. The look of focus and determination on his face. He wants to show the world that he can compete on this high level. Make way for the head and of the table. Representing the bloodline from Pensacola, Florida, weighing in at 265 pounds, the WWE Intercontinental Champion and the WWE Champion, Roman Reigns. I've been at this table for decades and I've never seen a competitor this dominant. Month in, month out, Reigns continues to dominate. Yeah, but think about this, Corey. The man who finally puts a loss in Roman's record will become immortal. It's bold of you to think he'll even lose. Well, even with the competition at this level, you might be right. Reigns has all the power in WWE in the palm of his hand. And Michael Roman Reigns has no plans to relinquish said power. If you want it, come take it. Nobody has done it yet. Hollywood is in the house. Corey, is it just me? Or is this entire arena shaking? And representing the NWO from Hollywood, California, weighing in at 302 pounds, Hollywood Hogan. Hulkamaniacs, read it and weep. Hollywood will rule forever. I guess if you ask Hollywood Hogan, the reality is that those will only take you so far. Now Hogan feels like he needs to bend the rules to get ahead. No, 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 no. Hogan is simply no longer bound by the rules, Saxton. Hulk Hogan cannot be stopped. Double champ in the building. Skills so nice, they call him champ twice. And representing the Brothers of Destruction from Death Valley, weighing in at 309 pounds, the World Heavyweight Champion and one half of the SmackDown Tag Team Champions, the Undertaker. 
Just think about the grind that comes with being a double champion. As great as the glory is, the hard work that comes with it is no joke. Yeah, he may look good showing off the gold, but he's got to look good defending it as well. Otherwise, it'll be gone. Just one last reminder that he is the double champion. The most lethal superstar in the history of WWE, the Apex Predator. From St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 275 pounds, the hardcore champion, the Viper, Randy Orton. You would be hard pressed to find a more sadistic superstar than Randy Orton. This is a superstar who will do whatever it takes to win. Hey, listen, he's called the Apex Predator because he has this undeniable killer instinct. And the results? Well, they speak for themselves. Yeah, simple advice. Don't cross the Viper. One of the all-time greats has seen and done everything there is to do in this business. Career decorated with championship goals. But despite that success, you could also say Randy Orton has carried himself as a very entitled and selfish superstar. Or you can look at the reality that Randy Orton worked hard and earned every bit of it. Quite simply, the greatest of all time, John Cena. And from West Newbury, Massachusetts, weighing in at 251 pounds, the greatest of all oh, time, what time is it? John Cena. Cena has truly seen and done everything there is to do in WWE, and yet he's still going. This is his home. As long as the WWE Universe keeps making noise for Cena, keeps showing up for him, he'll keep performing and showing up for them. Just one of the many reasons he became the greatest of all time. Falls count anywhere match underway now, guys. A symphony of destruction each and every time. This is where superstars really push the bounds of their aggression and creativity. Oh, great. Rearranging our ringside furniture here. Clearing the announce desk. Here's the cover. Instance of teamwork here, but how long is it going to last? Turns it around, sole of foot meets the stomach. Close line. What impact. False count anywhere could be a treacherous type of match. Corey, any advice for these competitors? Well, my advice take this match to a place where you feel that you have the advantage. If you think you do your best work backstage or on better concrete, then that's where you... He thinks he has it. And now back to Randy Orton. 
Early kick out, referee right on top of the action. He couldn't make much of that pin attempt. Attack from Cena's determination to the test. With the reversal. Submission before things got more disastrous for him. And he gets delivered back into the ring. Every strike more devastating than the last. And he has free reign to the outside with no count outs to worry about. The cover. Now we see Cena. Wasting no time getting his shoulder up. Staying in this one. Knee left. being shown whatsoever with those stars. The heart of these competitors is 
showing through tonight. The adrenaline is coursing through their veins. Treating the torso to yet another attack. Looking for something, anything under the ring. Bringing a steel chair into play here. And Orton is clearly looking up high. Fast press! Fast press! Shoulder tackle after shoulder tackle. Oh dear, this doesn't look good. Oh, wicked. That should do it right there. Two. He's still got more left in the tank. You can't see him. He's reaching under the ring for anything useful. And of course, kendo sticks are always under the ring. And there's the cover. He got the shoulder up in time. How much is it worth? How much is it worth to continue through the agony? It's obviously worth everything. Obviously worth every drop of sweat on the ground. I am shaking my head in disbelief over how he managed to get the shoulder up. Back elbow. Outside of the ring now. What's the plan here? And he's going with the great equalizer here. The steel chair. Ooh, chuck that chair right at him. Will it be? I think so. His arm. Cena. Look at this power. Onto his shoulders for the AA. That could end the Viper's night. There's two. He's still in this fight. The Viper remains alive. Randy Orton continues the fight here tonight. But Cena now can't take his foot off the gas. He was almost at the finish line. These one counts are going to get harder and harder to kick out of. Oh, you can't take much more of this. This is a very dangerous situation now. Run out of ringside and back to the mat. A show of confidence from John Cena. Ooh. Boom! Right on target. And Undertaker persevering to deliver some much-needed offense of his own. Here's where Hogan has to hook up and push through the paint. Orton with great ring awareness. The dead man has him up. And down with the tombstone. What devastation from The Undertaker. Two. And the Viper is eliminated. Has been eliminated. Undertaker turning up the intimidation factor. Backbreaker. What, what do you say? I mean, this, this, is, this is amazing. And Cena with the wherewithal the counter. Whoa, turn that kendo stick into a lawn dart. Cena has him up. And a adjustment. Somehow took down the Undertaker. Able to give him the slip. And that was a hell of a maneuver there, guys. Oh, an eye rake. That's not right, but effective. Headlock. Ooh, a cheap shot right above the eye. And he slides him back to the mat. Oh, no. Getting in position. What's he planning to do here? The dead man could be forced to submit Michael Cole. Can We're going to find an escape from the abdominal stretch. Uh-oh. Found it. The absolute intimidation of the Undertaker in effect here. Oh, oh he goes low. You're not cheap. He's going for the pin. This could be. And that's an elimination at Undertaker's expense. Oh, what a close line. Forcefully delivered. 
Oh, God, I rake. That's not right, but effective. And Cena is taking on a lot of offense now. John has to find an opening and respond. Boom! Boom! Did you hear the impact? <laughs> Saw it coming and got out of there. it now. Cover! Wow, just barely making it out. You can't deny Cena's penchant for the dramatics. Probably one of the closest two and nine-tenths counts I've ever seen. Hogan's got to be looking deep in himself, asking what will it take to get that three count. And Hogan continuing his charge. Going to be hard to stop the holster here. Kidneys. Golly. Elbow drop. Piercing. He's going to the pin. This could be it. And to the pay window. And the count stopped short of two. Thought he had it. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, yeah. Incoming. Oh, Big to the cover. A defiant kick out after one. It's hard to believe, but it looks like he still has some gas left in the tank. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. Again, the torso is punished. The core of the entire anatomy could dramatically slow your movement down. Oh! Oh, God, I rake. That's not right, but effective. Getting carried. Unsure what they're thinking. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh is right. Fireman carrying just tossed him into the post. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. He had it scouted. Sharp jab. And series of strikes to the back. That's so just a beat down. Wow, what a leg drop. That could end Cena right now. Makes the cover. Eliminating. And we have a winner. Here is your winner, Hollywood Hogan. And we are looking at the last superstar standing in this matchup. Elimination matches are absolutely a cruel mistress, but they certainly found a way to overcome such a challenge.